Listen to this. This is voice I used for cloning. Hey Claire, hope you are doing well. I wanted to wish you happy birthday. And sorry, not being truthful from the start, but hope you are doing well. And this is the voice cloned. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky, seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone, nine for mortal men doomed to die, one for the dark lord on his dark throne in the land of mortar where the shadows lie. Introducing Chatterbox Extended You might have used Chatterbox This is modified version with multi-input. You can not only type text you can provide a text file to clone voice. You only need up to 10 second of voice to sound like anyone. No matter what emotions you want to add using this tool you can generate most realistic voice ever. There's so much to experiment to achieve kind of result you are looking for. You can also use it for voice conversation with VC tab. Just upload your own message and change it into someone else's voice. This is voice cloning tool you need to have. If you are new to my YouTube channel subscribe it and press bell icon to stay updated. Well let's see how to install this locally on your computer. Click on GitHub link in my description to go to main page of Chatterbox Extended. To install this you need to have Python 3.10.11, FFmpeg to path, Visual Studio with C++ CL, Make, if you got GPU then CUDA Toolkit. Git for Windows. You can watch my video on CUDA Toolkit installation and FFmpeg I will put links in description. If you got all these requirements installed click on code option on main page and download main zip file or copy git code if you want to clone it using git. After copying git code or downloading main zip file go to folder you want to install chatterbox in and type cmd in folder path a new command window will open. Type git cone and paste link you copied to clone it. With cd command go inside clone folder. Create Venv using Python 3.10. Activate Venv with activation code. Check if you got CUDA Toolkit properly installed if it don't show code then install CUDA Toolkit. This will show you your CUDA Toolkit version now go to main page of PyTorch and copy code for CUDA Toolkit you got installed. Copy and paste that code in command window to install PyTorch. After PyTorch install go to main folder and open requirements file. Remove torch and torch related lines and save files. Now go to main page and copy requirements code and paste in command window to install.
after requirements install check pip list somehow torch might be installed. If not then run main code if you don't see PyTorch run PyTorch code again. After PyTorch installed again check if PyTorch is installed. Now run main code. Running it first time will download models. When you see local URL copy and paste this in any web browser to launch Chatterbox Extended. To run this again after closing make a bat file of this. Go to main folder and create new text file. Open text file and type this code as you see and save as run.bat. Now you can easily launch this by double clicking on run file. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. If you got any question or request comment, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.